Hey everyone, either welcome back or welcome to my channel. And in today's video, I want to talk about spoon theory and what it is. So, a lot of you have heard me use different analogies, but I want to explain the spoon theory analogy because I think it's a good way to try and explain to others how you have to plan your day with chronic illness and with IIH because our energy reserves don't last as long. So I'm going to take you through exactly what this means. So before I get into any more details, time for the intro. Back in 2018, I was diagnosed with IIH. IIH is short for idiopathic intracranial hypertension. In short, in IIH, there's an increased intracranial pressure without a known cause. IIH is known by two older names, pseudotumor cerebri and benign intracranial hypertension. Living with IIH is very hard to explain to others as it can be hard to tell when I'm not feeling well. My hope is that through these videos, we can learn together and help make relationships better through a better understanding. I also hope to provide people living with IIH a community so they never feel like they are alone with this condition. Don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell down below so that you get updated about further videos. I upload new content every Monday and Thursday afternoon. What happens is each activity is given a spoon and the amount of spoons vary per activity is kind of how I understand it. So for example, maybe putting on a pair of pants costs you one spoon. Meanwhile, going up the stairs for some people can be two or maybe even three spoons. Meanwhile, a workout for some people could be five or six spoons. So I want to explain this in the terms of how I plan my day and how come sometimes I'm able to prioritize certain activities, but I have to say no to other activities. And each activity that we do actually can be assigned a different level of spoons. So basically, when you wake up every day, depending on how you're feeling, you are allocated a certain number of spoons per day. You can use pretty much any type of object. It's just basically, like you could use pencils or anything. It's just kind of giving a visual analogy that like, you start off with a limited amount of energy and each activity takes away a certain amount of points basically so let's say you start off with 20 spoons per day now i don't have 20 spoons but you can get an idea of what that looks like and then so for me exact for example my workout may cost me five or six spoons so now I'm down to 14. So now I'm down to 14 spoons and whatever I do for the rest of the day has to fit within those 14 spoons. So if somebody, for example, asks me to go somewhere and it costs another five or six spoons, you can see how, why sometimes, even if we might be able to handle something, we say no because it's, costing us too much energy to do that particular task. The little things add up very quickly. So let's say like you're running a household, right? And you're allocated, let's say 20 spoons a day, but you got to take care of your family and you got to take care of the house. So vacuuming, sweeping, doing dishes, all the little things cost a certain amount of spoons per day. And one or two spoons per activity can add up very quickly and you can see how someone with a chronic illness can get very very fatigued very quickly and now you got to figure out how you plan your day exactly how you were before but now you're having to deal with it in a way that is planning ahead in order to get everything done that you want to do it and you're probably having to take breaks in between because of the energy levels that I've talked about before. In my opinion this is a great way to explain to people how you have to plan your day and how you have to allocate your resources basically to get the most priority things done and remember your spoons run out if they run out at the end of the day you're in trouble if you're running low and you're not very far into the day you're also in trouble like you're wiped out for the rest of the day 
The reason why I'm not really fond of this analogy is I think batteries are a little bit more common and people can relate to having their phone be at a really low battery and needing recharging before they can do anything. But the thing is, I think this is really good in a way because it explains like, unlike a battery, which I can recharge at any point, point during the day, the spoon theory says, I am given a certain amount of activities that I can do a day, and I have to allocate exactly how I'm going to do that activity or set of activities for that day. And depending on the day and what you're doing and in your family, those could change by the day and you actually need to plan ahead. I think for a lot of us, some things that can really be missed is spontaneity in life. So somebody calls and wants to go somewhere at whatever time and you can just say, yeah, of course I can make it. Now you have to go, I'm sorry, I don't have enough energy left. And it can be distancing from others because they don't have a grasp on the fact that you have only a certain amount of energy per day and you have only a certain amount of energy that you can use per day. I think the best way, if you want to demonstrate to your family this particular way of describing how you live your life and how you allocate what you do per day, give them a list of a list of things that you have to do every day and show them exactly how much energy you think it takes you to do. So allocate it a spoon level. And I've seen different charts of different examples about this, but I think this is very quite individual actually, and it's gonna depend on how many symptoms you're currently dealing with. So people who are kind of at a more milder condition with IIH will probably have a little bit more energy than those who are really, really struggling and going through a lot more medical procedures. Make out a list and tell them, you have all of this that you have to do today. You are given this many spoons, or whatever you want to use as an example, and try to get them to plan out a day and what they would do. And I think it will really help explain kind of why it's so hard to keep up with everything in the current condition that you're in. I think it is a great physical way of showing people. So for example, give them a list of things that cost one spoon. Give them a list of things that cost two spoons. Give them a list of things that cost three spoons, etc. And I think it'll be really, really helpful. The best way to do this is to get them to make their plan on how they would do their day. If you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. And as for now, that's it for today. Bye everyone.